So, I think Frank Miller likes booty squats. Warning, the following video is for mature adult audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, I'm Asian Funk. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I wanna talk about something that I noticed recently. I spend quite a bit of time on eBay on a daily basis, but in the last few weeks, I, I've come to a conclusion, Frank Miller likes booty squats. Booty squats. Sorry, let me rephrase. I think Frank Miller likes to draw booty squats. Booty squats. Now, for those of you who don't know who Frank Miller is, he's an American comic book writer, artist, inker, novelist, film director, screenwriter, and producer. But he's best known for his comic book stories and graphic novels like 300, Sin City, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Daredevil, Wolverine, just to name a few. And now for those of you who don't know what a booty squat is, booty squats. Here's what Urban Dictionary defines it as. Arching your back and sticking out your butt while standing or walking as you would if you were doing a squat to make your butt look bigger than it really is. Now, there's nothing new about uh, artists sketching on comic book covers for fans. And I've seen Frank Miller sketches on eBay before uh, of various characters in different poses. But it wasn't until I saw this sketch that I kind of noticed a trend. What you're looking at is a blank cover of Amazing Spider-Man number one with a near full body sketch of Spider-Man by Frank Miller. What caught my eye wasn't the price tag of 2,500, but the pose itself. Spider-Man is capable of being in very um, impossible positions, right? But I've never really seen Spider-Man do that pose. Does this sketch fit the criteria of a booty squat? Let's break it down. Is the back arched? Yes. Is the butt sticking out? Yup. Was the character walking or standing? Unsure. Is the butt looking bigger than it really is? Hell yeah. But I can't just make a statement like that without having a larger sample size. So I started doing more research. Let me tell you, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You go on eBay and you do a search for Frank Miller CGC sketch, you get dozens and dozens of results. Now I added the term CGC because it'll eliminate any uh, potential unverified sketches. So ignoring zoomed in waist up sketches and front facing poses where the butt is not visible. Here's a Miller sketch from 2016 of the Punisher on the blank cover of Punisher number one. Is this a booty squat? Yup. What about this Electra sketch? Booty squat? Hell yeah. How about this Harley Quinn sketch? Booty squat confirmed. Booty squat. Booty squat. Booty squat? Yep, booty squat. Definitely booty squat. Uh, yeah, let's just say it's a booty squat. Now I know what you're thinking. These are just fan requests. It's not Frank Miller's fault that he's sketching these booty squats. He's being commissioned and paid to do these. Fans are requesting these poses. And I would tell you that is a very solid argument, but I did a little bit more research. This is Batman and Robin, the boy wonder number five from 2007. Up until now, I've only been showing sketches from Miller from the last few years. But this is a published comic book from over a decade ago, and the booty squat was alive and well. Here's The Dark Knight, The Master Race, number three from 2016, another published work. Not a commission or a fan sketch. Booty squat is present. A few issues later in Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, number eight, we got another booty squat pose. Now keep in mind, most of the sketches I've been showing you have been from 2016, 2017. These are all pretty recent. These are all within like the last five years. The published works I just showed you, the official ones, are from over a decade ago. So you can't say that Frank Miller just started getting into booty sketches. It goes way back, even before fans were requesting it. And as a result, I've come to a few conclusions. Frank Miller has always liked booty squat poses but it was only recently that it started showing up in sketches, either because fans wanted to sell them. Now, this also could be a seller's market where sellers feel like the only Frank Miller sketch that would sell would be like these sexy booty poses, which could be true. So as a result, sellers are requesting these booty squat poses in order to sell them because sellers think that's what buyers want. So we definitely can't say that Frank Miller just got into booty squats. He's definitely been a fan of that. So I guess the bigger question is, why is there such a large amount of sketches of these booty squats? And so I have two theories as to why that is. One is fans have uh, requested it. So usually uh, a fan will go up to Frank Miller and say, hey, I wanna have a sketch done. And Frank's like, great, what would you like? And then the fan says, oh, I would like a Electra in a booty squat pose. So that's definitely a scenario. The other scenario is where the fan goes up to Frank Miller and says, hey, Frank, uh, I'd like a sketch of Electra. And then Frank's like, great, any particular pose? And the fan says, nope, just, just Electra. And then Frank says, okay, well, if you're not gonna give me direction, I'm gonna just draw Electra the way I like to draw her. And 
chances are his preference may be Electra in a booty squat pose. So that's definitely a scenario. So in conclusion, there are three parts, right? Frank Miller really likes the booty squat pose. Sellers think that the booty squat pose is the one that's most likely to sell and that fans request the booty squat pose. And so because of those three reasons, that's probably why most of the sketches available on eBay are of the booty squat pose. I can't believe I just did a video on booty squats. Let me know down in the comments below if you own a Frank Miller booty squat sketch and if you're willing to sell. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.